And I am making something very, very special. And it has been passed down through not only a few generations, but centuries in Mexico, and it's called barbacoa. This dish is intense. It is flavorful. Now, it's usually made with lamb or goat on the bone, huge chunks of meat. But in some places in Mexico, like in central Mexico, Michoacán, or Mexico City, where I'm from, they sometimes make it with beef, and then that's easier because it cooks for less time. Now here I have some gorgeous pieces of brisket. The next important thing about barbacoa is the marinade. The marinade, which is like a wet rub, uses ancho chiles and guajillo chilies. Now I have 10 anchos and 10 guajillos and I took off the stem and put them in this pot, covered it with water, brought it to a boil and then let it simmer over medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. You're bringing it back to life. It's plump, it's mushy, it's thick, it's meaty. That's what you want. So I'm adding it in here. This is the guajillo chiles. Look at the difference in color. So these two chiles are not the same, guys. Two different chiles are two different ingredients, but the ancho and the guajillo go beautiful together. And then I'm gonna get some of that cooking liquid. I need two cups. And then I'm going to add a tomato. And I'm going to add some onion. Three medium garlic cloves. And then I'm adding salt. Two and a half tablespoons in here. About a tablespoon of oregano. A half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then half a teaspoon of allspice. Half a teaspoon cinnamon. And a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. And about four to five whole cloves. I'm removing the stems. All pureed. And then I'm going to do what Mexicans do to salsas or sauces or marinades most of the times, which is cooking them. I have about three tablespoons that I want to add in here. And if I know my cooking, this is gonna smoke, this is gonna sizzle, this is gonna bubble, and I'm gonna be ready. That's just normal. That's just everyday cooking in a Mexican kitchen. I have it on low to medium heat. I'm gonna leave it partially covered and this is gonna cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. It's simmering, it's beautiful. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna wrap that meat in. And this is so super exciting because you can now get banana leaves in your grocery store. Just look in your freezer section, in your Latin section, in your international section, you'll find them. This kind of cooking has existed in Mexico since pre-Hispanic times. They wrapped the meat in banana leaves and then they dug underground pits. And to this day, that's what happens. The pits are huge, immense. And in the bottom, they're smoldering coals. They put the meat with the marinade wrapped in the leaves and then they seal it with a kind of clay and then it cooks overnight. The banana leaves keep it moist, but not only that, it infuses them with this wild aroma and fragrance, and it's just incredible. Okay, I'm adding this hot marinade or wet rub onto the meat because I'm gonna cook it right away. If you find an avocado leaf, then this will make it even more exotic. And I'm folding it like this, like a tamal. 
If you don't find a banana leaf, you can just use aluminum foil or parchment paper. For guests, this is such a treat. You're giving them like a little gift. I'm adding the sauce. And wait, the last thing I'm adding, beer. And that will make it really super extra moist. And then I'm covering with the lid. And this whole thing is replicating that underground pit. Have the oven at 350. And we are going to put it in there for about three hours. This smells so good. Okay, have you tried barbacoa? Never. Okay. This is meat that has been cooking for a long time in these banana leaves. We're gonna make some sliders. Wow. <gasps> I have salsa borracha or drunken sauce, but I also have some of these like fresh slaw. Oh my goodness. 